What's up, faithful followers of YouTube? I'm Ben Meinl. I'm at the Taj Mahal, and you're watching GrooveTube. Now, the last three weeks have been all about hi-hat reviews, so I thought it's a great chance now to teach you a hi-hat lesson. So I'm going to teach you four sounds you can get out of your hi-hat, so you can write more interesting parts that sound more like a pro. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So the first sound that I want to show you is just the, the crisp, clean, single note on the top of the hi-hat. So it sounds like this. When I used to try and play this, and it was my teacher, uh, Paul Elliott, that I met at the ACM, that I had a few private lessons with him, and he kind of corrected me and got me to bring my hand up higher over the hi-hat. Because I, I was playing everything from, from down here, which you can probably see on here. So all those kind of like... All that kind of stuff, I was playing all those uh, accented notes and everything from my wrist really low down. And Paul got me to bring my wrist up a little bit so that my stick was more flat with the top of the hi-hat. So I'd play more like this. which sounds a lot better and a lot cleaner. You want to try and get the tip for the lower dynamic notes and lay into it a little bit on the top uh, with the neck of the stick. So keep the wrist at a level with the hat. And then to get that really groovy sound, you want to make sure that you're getting those accents. Da, do, da, do, da. Sound number two is when you're laying into the edge of the hi-hat a little bit more. So this is for those kind of thicker, filthier grooves, but where you don't want it fully open. So it sounds a bit like this. This is me going from like a tight sound to getting a little bit heavier and chunkier. And all I'm doing is moving my hand down a little bit. So I'm going from hitting on the top to hitting on the edge. And I'm going to half the note value. So you'll hear the groove thicken up. And that's what I want to show you guys how to do. So, down. <laughs> and that's what it sounds <laughs> like. So you can hear how that thickens up the groove. The other one was that part of the stick and the tip. This bit is all on here now. And you just want to, if you can, just let your toe up slightly. You'll just start to open the hi-hats a little bit to give, you that, to give you that chunkier sound. So press it in for the first one. And open it up just a little bit for the second one. Third sound is the, the choke or the bark or whatever you want to call it. It's this sound. So the synchronization between the limbs is hitting down on the hi-hat as the pedal opens. So you open it, you get that big sound, but you're already closing it as you go. Badum. That's the coordination. And in a groove, it's just so nice to chuck that in there. So you get things like this. That's the sound I use a lot. So just remember with that, to play that, it's always hitting down on the hi-hat as the left foot opens slightly. Try placing that in different places. You can also do it on the beat, which sounds wicked as well. Uh, you get this kind of sound like. Use that quite a bit. Again, it's exactly the same coordination. For always for that sound, you're hitting down 
on the hi-hat as your hi-hat foot's coming up, but it's always just a step up, down, up, down. So that's how you get the choke, just open, close. Sound number four is the fully open hi-hat sound. A few pointers here. Some guys take their foot right off the hi-hat pedal like that. It's okay, doesn't make it sound any worse, but I used to do that myself, and now I just keep the heel and lift the foot up, or I take it slightly off to the side. If you're gonna open this up for a heavy groove, you can either keep the this sound going while you're playing heavy like this, It doesn't sound that much different, but sometimes for some people it gives them a bit more of a time reference point because they're still playing. I do that quite a lot if I'm playing heavy, or it's just... So I'm going to play you some grooves with this heaviness in. So I'm going to play a little groove uh, for you with all four of those sounds in. So just to recap, we've got the tight controlled on the top sound where you're playing tip of the stick and the shoulder and you're going to keep your wrist uh, in line with the hats. So. Then you've got the, the sound where it's just on the shoulder here. So That's like microscopic opening of the hi-hat a little bit more from the foot. Then you've got the choke sound, number three. and the fully open sound number four. So I'm just gonna play something and put all those things in. You can hear it sounds. Please tell me I'm good at what I do. So there you have it guys, four new hi-hat sounds you to try out. Hope you enjoyed the video, give it a go. Let me know how you get along. If you're stuck or got any questions, then post them down in the comment section below and I'll help you out. I'll see you in another video soon.